Who was that taught to him by society and other people? Punishing those who committed murder or actually an extra personal force that, you know, told him that this is what is morally correct or not? Well, society can be one way you learn right and wrong. Right. But the argument, first of all, the argument for God doesn't rely on anybody knowing right and wrong. Yeah. Everybody, like I'll give you an example William Lane Craig gives. He says, suppose the Nazis had won World War II and took over the whole world and convinced everybody that killing Jews, homosexuals, gypsies, and Jehovah's Witnesses was a good thing. Would that make it a good thing? Even if everyone believed it was a good thing? In terms of, well, again, that goes back to her question of just like, do art and your question of if, do people like define the moralities of their own societies right. rather than God does? Right. In an atheistic argument, that would be yes, the morality would be valid, even though in our world it isn't right at all, because in, in an atheistic argument, since there's no God, the only thing that matters is if something feels moral or not within your head. Well, the, but the problem is, is that if, if there is no standard beyond humanity, then you couldn't or we couldn't say the Nazis were wrong. Yeah. And we all know that they were wrong. And we were closer to that standard than were the Nazis. That's how we could judge the Nazis at the Nuremberg trials. Right. They said, oh, we were just following orders. And, and we said to them, you had a moral obligation to not follow immoral orders of your government because there's a standard beyond your government, and that is God's nature. Yeah, you, had a, you, you definitely had a moral knowing in your head that you, what you were doing was wrong, but right. you did it anyway. Well, how did, by the way, how did Hitler get his SS to, to kill Jews? Jews? He what did he do? Uh, I believe he either threatened them with death or just made them believe that it was the right thing to do, right? Well, the way he got them to kill Jews was he convinced them that the Jews were subhuman. Right. Because people understand that you don't take innocent human life, so in order to get his SS to do it, he just redefined the Jews as not being innocent human life. Right, so he had to compromise around their actual definition mm -hmm. of morality in order to make it, to make it work. Right. But yep. remember, there's a difference, Nathan, between sociology, yep. that's how people do behave, with morality, how people ought to behave. Right. I'm talking about how people ought to behave. Yes. We always get it wrong frequently down, or frequently we get it wrong down here, how we ought to behave. Yeah. But that doesn't change whether or not there is a right way to live. Right. Even if we don't live it, even if the Nazis convince everybody that killing Jews is right, doesn't mean it is. It's still wrong to kill Jews. Still the yes. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank, Thank you. you.